what's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you're new don't forget to subscribe um leave a thumbs up if you like this video follow me on twitter at superivdc check out the links in the description um if you're interested in checking out my merch there's a link in the description of this video and if you follow me on twitter the link's also in my bio on my profile um <clears throat> and other links in the description as well so last night at the time of making this video Zack Snyder shared a picture from the first costume test for BBS for Ben Affleck in the bat suit. And he shared it, um, what looks to be the front, you know, part of the Justice League book. And it says Justice League book one. And he captioned it, how I started. So, um, this just, fans always get excited, you know, when we see, when Zack shares stuff from like behind the scenes or older stuff that we've never seen before. Um, costume test pictures are always interesting to see, and, you know, us Batfleck fans, it's just always cool to see stuff like that, you know, and it's exciting to share, um, stuff that we don't get to see just like, you know, in the movie. It's always cool to see behind the scenes stuff, stuff on set. Um, now, it does say Justice League Book 1. Some people might think that that means, like, part one, you know, Justice League part one, but really, um, Zack Snyder has a bunch of these sketchbooks with a bunch of, you know, storyboards that are basically the entire movie. So he has several books for one movie. So it's, that's what it means. It's like the first book of the movie itself. Um, if you've ever watched like his watch parties that he does sometimes on Vero, or even just sometimes when he's doing like um, not a watch party, but something else. Sometimes when he joins live streams or um, things like that, he'll pull out these sketchbooks and show storyboards from the movie, and he has a whole bunch of them. And once he is done with the movie, um, he'll get them, like, bound and, you know, have nice, like, um, covers to keep them really uh, preserved and, like, in good condition. And it's cool. It's like, you know, he has this whole collection of all these sketchbooks from all the movies and it's just it's really cool so he has shared those many times before um picture you know giving us looks inside of those um he did you know he does tend to answer to people uh in the comments of his Vero post so I just want to go through some of the ones I was able to find there was someone who um said Ben is such a great Batman I can't wait to see him in your cut and I hope we'll get to see more of him one day after that and Zack Snyder said, me too. So it's very obvious that, you know, Zack has mentioned a few times he would like to see Zack be able to make his movie with Deathstroke. And he's obviously, of course, that's his, this is Zack's Batman. You know, he loves Ben as Batman. This is his Batman. So that's no surprise. He also had told, I couldn't find the question or comment, but this was Zack's reply. That is a shot I took during the first costume test for BBS. So either I forgot to screenshot it <laughs> or I couldn't find it. Um, I don't know if maybe they asked something about like, where is this from? Is this from Justice League or, you know, but he made it, Zach was just letting us know, obviously by his comment that this was from BBS, not Justice League. First costume test. And if anyone notices, I don't, I don't know if I notice any differences. The cow look, I saw someone say that the cow might look slightly different, but I'm not sure. Um, you know, sometimes after doing costume tests, they'll like, they'll make tweaks or whatever. If they don't, that's what the test is for, <laughs> to see how it looks on, on camera. And also between movies, of course, they make improvements. Also, another person asked, can we see in Justice League that Superman test flying like Man of Steel? Zach said, not yet. So that's not something he's going to share with us yet. Um, by the question I think they mean the storyboard or maybe the camera test for you know we're gonna get a um kind of like a, a parallel scene to the first flight scene of Man of Steel we're gonna have that same thing in Justice League when he comes out with the black suit so he's saying you know not yet there were storyboards before a long time ago that floated around from that scene and it looked very similar to the first flight scene, but that's obviously, you know, something Zach's not going to share yet. It's a big part of the movie. 
And then another person asked, is this book one of many for Justice League Part 1 or the book for Justice League Part 1? <laughs> so Zach said it takes about four or five books to finish a movie. And that's what I was saying earlier. This doesn't mean Justice League Part 1, the movie, like, oh, this is just the first movie. It takes several books to complete a movie because it's like every little scene broken down into storyboards, you know? So it takes a lot of books. And these are like giant books. They're not like little tiny notebooks, you know? <laughs> so it's, they hold, it's a lot. It's a lot of storyboards. Uh, someone also asked him, be honest, Zach, do you ever, did you ever try on any of the costumes, Batman's cowl, Superman's cape, Superman's cape, Wonder Woman's tiara? Zach says, now and then, with a little tongue out face. You know, just fun questions people like to ask him. Will the Snyder Cut be available worldwide? And Zach says, I hope so. So going back to that, I made a video yesterday that if you haven't watched that, you can head to my channel and watch that as well. And it should pop up at the end of this video. Um, Zack Snyder's Justice League is starting to be featured now on like Google Play, iTunes, Roku as an upcoming feature. So you can add it to your wish list on Google Play or whatever, you know, other platforms that you might use. That is a very good sign that hopefully it should be available globally even in places that don't have HBO Max because a lot of places don't. It's still a very new streaming service. They're still working on making it um, available in more countries. So I think that what I mentioned in my video yesterday, adding it as an upcoming feature, you know, three months before it's set to be released, roughly three months if it's expected in March, hopefully should give them a good idea of the demand worldwide and not just in the States and like, you know, some of the other bigger markets that HBO Max is available in, but putting it on Google Play, iTunes, you know, um, the other platforms, that would give it so many more people access to it globally. So I think that's, you know, hopefully that's what this means, that it's gonna be, that it's showing as an upcoming feature on those platforms. So make sure you add it to your wish list if you haven't done that yet. Um, all right, for Justice, I think this next one, the, Zack Snyder's response doesn't have the person's name tagged in it, but based on the quest, based on Zack's answer and the question I found like a few responses above that, I think it's the right question paired with Zack's answer, if that makes sense, based on the content of the question. So for Justice League, did you look to any specific comics for Batman's arc, like how the Dark Knight inspired his BBS story? And I think this was the answer to that question because it seems like it makes sense, even though the person's not tagged in it. Zach said, not one, we, Chris and I, and I'm assuming he's meaning Chris Terrio, were working on a long arc that had taken on a life of its own. So I'm pretty sure, even though he didn't tag the person's name in it, I think that's the response to this person's question, asking about Batman's arc and what they use as inspiration for it. So just wanted to share some of the uh, questions that Zach replied to. It's always interesting to see what he has to share in the comment section. There's pro there might be more now, I got these last night, but just a few to share. Um, like I said, it's always fun to see this behind the scenes stuff. Don't forget to add Zach's just to see <laughs> to your wish lists on whatever platforms you use. Make sure that they know, you know, they're probably trying to get all these analytics. Let them know that people do want it worldwide. It would mean a lot to the international fans. I would be very happy for people who don't have HBO Max in their country to be able to watch it because it's not just people in the U.S. This was a global movement that made this happen. So I think it's also very important to Zach and Deborah that this be made available to as many people as possible. And... Um, so, you know, make sure we bring attention to that for sure. And just also, I wish Vero had, when they did this 2.0 update, I wish they had where it was easier to see the direct responses to a comment. Yes, you can hit reply and it tags their name, but it doesn't show it directly in response to that question. It, it just puts it like in the list of comments be much easier to know exactly what Zach is responding to um, if it was kind of like a thread 
that you're directly responding to. But and I also wish they does anyone know I haven't been able to find it in Vero. Are you able to turn on post notifications for people? Because that's what I would like to do with for Zach Snyder's comp. I would like to be able to get notification like on Twitter when he posts something. If that's on there, I haven't been able to find it. So let me know. Um, but anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out the links in the description. And have a good one.